This week, companies like Samsung are introducing the first phones fitted with 5G, the new generation of mobile technology that's faster, smarter, and more powerful than the current standard. Chinese tech giant Huawei is at the forefront of 5G, securing rollout contracts in nearly 30 countries. A notable exception is the United States, which considers the company to be a national security threat. In his first TV interview with an American reporter, Huawei founder and CEO Ren Zhengfei says the Trump administration's fears are overblown. We spoke at the company's headquarters in Shenzhen, China. They've been regarding 5G as the technology at the same level of the some other military equipment. 5G is not an atomic bomb. 5G is the latest high-speed mobile innovation, promising to multiply wireless Internet speeds and increase coverage. Now we are rolling out 5G, and soon we'll welcome 6G. And in the future, I said there will be new equipment that is suitable for the United States. But U.S. intelligence agencies are concerned about Huawei's 5G growth. It is so much faster, and it allows such a larger data flow that it significantly enhances the capabilities of an intelligence service to steal data. Former CIA acting director Michael Morell. 5G is going to allow a much larger number of devices to be connected to the Internet. When you connect more devices, you create more platforms from which um, an intelligence service can spy from. The Trump administration has warned its allies that it may reconsider its military relationships with countries that use Huawei. We cannot ensure the defense of the West if our allies grow dependent on the East. Do you view that as a threat? First of all, I would like to thank them because they are great figures. 5G was not known by common people, but now these great figures are all talking about 5G, and we're becoming more influential and getting more contracts. I sense a little bit of sarcasm there. Um, oh, please tell them. I'm actually thanking them for promoting us. Despite warnings from the Trump administration, some of our European allies, including Germany and the U.K., are reportedly considering allowing Huawei to build their high-speed infrastructure. It's technologically advanced, it's reliable as all get out, and it's affordable. Some Americans already rely on Huawei technology. This is SCOBY. We're in the middle of nowhere. Like Mike Kilgore, who runs a wireless provider servicing more than 11,000 square miles of rural Montana. We've heard of the security concerns. We've heard of the uh, allegations of connections to the Chinese government, but nobody's ever produced any evidence related to that. As the Trump administration weighs a ban on all Chinese telecoms in the U.S., Kilgore is worried his company wouldn't survive, leaving his community essentially without service. If you did not have the ability to dial 911 from a cell phone, um, I, I, I just, I can't, uh, that, will, that turns my stomach. For Wren, despite all the criticism from the administration, he knows his company's future in America is in the president's hands. For President Trump, I think he is a great president because in a very short period of time, he was able to reduce the tax rate. You speak very highly of President Trump, yet he is likely to issue an executive order banning your company from doing any business in the United States. How do you square the two? <laughs> Well, we have never had many sales in the United States, but we didn't give up our efforts in this country. So if you wonder which American company may be rolling out 5G as well, Cisco is a competitor, and they've announced that they're prepared to roll out 5G by 2022. The difference is Huawei saying they're prepared much sooner, by 2020. And a lot of industry experts are concerned that these conflicts may delay the rollout overall and impact millions of users. But law enforcement and intelligence experts believe that they are using this to steal all kinds of information from us. They are adamant that, that whether or not Huawei gives the government of China permission, that China will find a backdoor 
to get any customer data, and that is the big concern. But it's it's in the interest of companies to partner with Huawei because the faster you can get to 5G, the faster all your customers who want that faster service will go. Which is why you're seeing so many countries around the world, including our allies, say thank you for the warning to the United States government, but we may continue to do, to, to do business with Huawei because it's in our benefit. And what was your take on Mr. Huawei? Because he seemed to have quite a sense of humor. Yeah. He seemed sarcastic at times, but he certainly seemed to be engaged. And I think that's tough to do during trans when you're yeah. you know, when your conversation is being translated on both sides. Look, he said he had nothing but respect for the American government, yeah. for President Trump. He invited President Trump to the facility. They have a very impressive campus. I met with a lot of their scientists and a lot of their 5G experts. He said, please come visit. We have nothing to hide. I have great respect for America. He's been to America before. Mm -hmm. He'd like to come back and he'd like to. This was his first introduction to the American And public. he doesn't speak English. He does not speak yeah, He English. seemed to welcome you, though, Beyond. Yeah, he's, very nice. Nice. Yeah. he's a nice man. And also interesting to see the president. Uh, the distance between the president and his intelligence officers on this, not as much as on some other issues. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you, Bianca. Thank you.